welcome back viewers uh, we are talking with professor ravi batra on the topic career politicians and fury in america we have received some of the questions on twitter and i would like to address uh, one of the questions now i i personally believe uh, coming from an engineering background i don't know how much fair it would be but i would i would sort still ask professor batra from an economic perspective what do you think how can technology be used in erasing poverty or what is the role of technology in erasing poverty oh, around the world technology has a very 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 important role to play uh-huh. i mentioned uh, this how to eliminate uh, how, how to use the putting out system uh-huh. in villages in the in around the world okay see what we now, what we now have is monopoly capitalism uh-huh. before this we had free market capitalism okay and prior to that we had this putting out system okay in which machines were distributed to workers in small towns and villages and they worked from their home and then the merchant would collect the product and market it okay mm-hmm. and the merchant got very rich using these this system so what i'm saying now is the government should this should this system can be adapted for the rest of the world the government should distribute machines to workers in the villages or small towns and these machines should have the latest technology okay because one reason why uh, the cotton industry workers in india and pakistan or bangladesh uh, one day one reason why they are still poor is that their productivity is very low okay because they're using outdated machines machines right so here we are saying no the government should give them the best machines possible mm-hmm. their productivity would productivity would go up and they would produce a lot now the question is how do you sell all this production well the government buys it from them at reasonably low prices gives them high prices and do not increase and and have a reasonable markup on these so the consumer will also face low prices demand for these goods will, will rise all the production that has occurred in these villages will be sold out and the new technology will will raise their productivity and give them a very uh, decent living standard so that's the role of one, one thing i could uh, tell you is that with the rapid progress in technology that we are seeing nowadays where the productivity is steadily increasing with the use of you know when the computers replaced human beings in office a job of 8 hours could be done in 1 hour exactly so now i personally believe uh, still if you want to maintain uh, the keep the wage productivity gap co- not from not increasing too much that is the root cause of problem you suggest i also believe that there has to be a policy where there should be for the technological growth to continue and for the productivity to ever grow there has to be a way for cutting down the hour co- work hours of the employees with without affecting uh the output. poverty Without because affecting our uh, output output yeah yeah because because um, if if uh, we are producing too more too much uh, because of technology and there is not significant demand then we cannot sell those goods but but uh, in in case of recession or when there is slow down in the economy if workers reduce the work hours they can still manufacture the desired desired output with less work hours well that's that, that, that's interesting and that is that will automatically happen if we have economic democracy mass capitalism those yeah, are, yeah, if we yeah. have mass capitalism that would automatically happen uh-huh. because nowadays what happens if d- demand demand goes down or does not rise then these layoffs occur right and then the government has to support the laid off people through this unemployment, unemployment benefits, compensation right, right and by increasing taxes right but if suppose working hours were to fall mm-hmm. and why should anybody be laid off because people jointly own the firm so if working hours were to fall then there will be nobody unemployed the government would not have to pay any unemployment compensation the government would not have to collect taxes for that right there would be no need for debt so it's a good thing for people that they will have to pay less income taxes That's isn't right. it That's so right. people should support mass capitalism because you will have to pay lower income taxes what more do you need now exactly 
So gov the government size would also be small. Yeah. You won't need bureaucracy, yeah. that huge bureaucracy to manage unemployment compensation. Right, right, right. So the government size will be small, you'll have free markets, and there will hardly be a, a reason for unemployment because wages rise as fast as productivity. Right, right. And so, so this is a win-win for everyone. Situation, yeah. so solution for except everybody. for career politicians, <laughs> except, except for, for career, career politicians, politicians <laughs> and the richest uh, people in the world. Perfect, perfect. Uh, well, uh, we had a very fantastic discussion with Professor Batra on the subject career politicians and fury in America. Uh, uh, well, uh, you can certainly, uh, I would recommend people to get educated and do read uh, the volumes authored by Professor Batra. He has uh, other volumes also listed on the website, but I do recommend The New Golden Age and End Unemployment Now. Uh, uh, for more details about his forecasts, uh, do visit his uh, website, that's ravibatra.com, R-A-V-I-B-A-T-R-A.com. Uh, you can also consider uh, reading my volume, Mass Capitalism, which is also recommended by Professor Batra. It, there are some good reviews on Amazon, and uh, you can also visit my website, to read about me and about my blogs. Uh, it's epecmulay.com, A-P-E-K-M-U-L-A-Y.com. I, I guess uh, we, have, we had a fantastic discussion so far and I hope this upcoming, uh, this interview would help uh, Americans understand what is the root cause of problem, what is the root cause of the anger and how the upcoming elections is so critical from the point of view of restoring prosperity for themselves and for the country. So it's time to make America great again through restored by establishing free market capitalism. Remember, we don't have free market capitalism as per Professor Batra. He says we have a monopoly capitalism that we need to get rid of. And career politicians are, do not want monopoly capitalism to go away because it is their job security. So let, let, us make, let us bring about this intellectual revolution to get rid of the job security of the career politicians. Let us put them on probation through these ideas of Professor Batra and mass capitalism that I have put forth. Uh, thank you Desi Plaza for your time, for letting me introduce Professor Batra today and uh, helping uh, educate the Americans about the state of our economy and the upcoming uh, elections and also uh, how we can address the real problems rather than uh, blaming it on uh, racism, on all, all, all other issues that are people are really uh, worried about that, okay, uh, this is what's happening in the election campaign. So root cause is the growing poverty and not the other things that are being propagated by the media. So please be aware of that and make sure that your vote does not go waste. We don't recommend any politician, but we do believe that Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump do want to do something good for this country. So thank you very much again, Desi Plaza. Uh, and you have a wonderful time ahead. Thank you.